a three quarter wig. We're gonna get into it coming up. If you have browsed the Wig Pro collection of styles at Wig Studio One, you probably ran across this style and thought, wow, that's really cute with all of those curls. Then you get into the description and it says it's a three quarter wig. Well, what the heck is a three quarter wig, right? I was thinking that because I've never explored one before. And the other name for this would be like a fall. So it is a hair piece. It is not a full wig cap. We're gonna check it out thoroughly today as we unbox and discuss this. These were sent to me by Wig Pro in cooperation with Wig Studio One. If you drop below the video, you'll find direct links to this style along with the other Wig Pro styles. If you have any questions for us, please reach out to support at wigstudio1.com. So let's get started. Okay, so what is a three quarter wig? It is a hair piece. Um, these used to be more popular back in the 50s, 60s, 70s where ladies just wanted a little oomph to their style. They had their own natural hair, but they just needed a little something extra to give them that curl or that lift or that volume that they were looking for. So if you have sporadic patchy baldness or you don't have any natural hair at all, this option isn't going to work with you. But you have all seen my natural hair. It's about an inch long and I have a receding hairline and I'm able to get really good coverage from this three quarter wig. So let's start checking it out. Now this color here, this is a 14 GR, which is a honey blonde with some light gold blonde highlighting. It's not rooted, but most of the highlights are going to be dispersed around the face. It really lightens and brightens, doesn't it? This does have a little retro feel to me. It's a kind of a curlier Farrah Fawcett kind of a style, isn't it? And so I kind of measured this and it's about 20 to 21 inches in total. It is a long curly style. Now the front piece here is about seven and a half inches, but you would really have to stretch it out in order to realize that length. This is a really curly one, guys. And a three quarter wig can look and act just like a regular wig in that it has some wefting and permatease. So we're gonna get a little bit of permatease there on top again for all the reasons why they add permatease to a full wig cap. And that's to give it structure, to hide wefting and sustain the style. So let's get busy unboxing anemone. <laughs> I hope I'm pronouncing that right. In the color 27. So let's check her out. Looks like a full wig. I mean, there is a lot of hair here. This is a nice full style, as you can see. It's supposed to be. It's full, it's voluptuous. Uh, but each one of these fibers is really fine and super soft. You can just curl up to this like a blanket. It's really very comfortable on. And it's not going anywhere. I'm gonna show you why. Okay, so here it is right out of the box. net and inserts okay all right so check it out really long and curly but you can just see how fine maybe fine and soft and beautiful these fibers are it's got a little bit of bounce to it so it's not without body either let's reveal this cap because this is what a three-quarter cap is they call it a three-quarter wig Okay, so on first glance, it just looks like maybe an open cap wig, right? But at the front, you're going to have this huge clip sewn in right at the front. Um, and there's a little brush of fiber there to give it the best looking hairline possible. Now, this doesn't seem any different to me than a non lace front open cap wig style. It looks the same and it feels the same. But this big clip here is just to help secure it in you into your natural hair. And I'll apply it for you too. I'll show you how I apply it to get the best fit. And then you see all of the open wefting here. Um, you've got an ear tab, but that ear tab is very shallow. It doesn't come down as much as a regular ear tab would on a full cap wig style. So fiber spliced in there. 
and then in the back you have an identical big other the other side of the jaw kind of a clip there sewn in right at the nape okay so this hooks into the hair in the back so you've got a big one in the front and a big one in the back and really a very shallow ear tab not a whole lot of coverage there but there's enough fiber that it doesn't make a difference now who's going to be the market for this this kind of wig I think this wig is super fun and versatile if you have your own hair and you just want to mix up your look a little bit maybe you've got a special occasion or a party a three-quarter wig is probably ultimately going to be a little more cooler and comfortable than a full cap wig it's certainly going to be more affordable because it is just an open cap full uh, three-quarter cap style wig okay so before I put this on, let's just check out this color. Wow, that's a combination of some uh, more of a medium copper with some strawberry blonde highlights, I think. That's what it reminds me of. Brilliant, right? Wow, it's a beautiful red. All right, so I'm going to remove this, and then I'm going to show you how I would apply a three-quarter wig. Okay, so here we go. Let's go ahead and apply this three-quarter wig here. Um, now, this method that I'm going to use to apply is just something I've experimented with here, here with briefly because, again, I don't have experience with these types of wigs. I think we all come to um, apply our wig in a way that is routine for us and, and that works. So there's more than one way to skin a cat, so they say here in the Midwest anyway. Okay. So what I like to do is dive into it just like I did a regular wig, but I'm going to secure the nape first. So I'm going to dive in and I'm pulling that nape up and I'm pushing that comb right down into the nape hair, right there, until it firmly is set in there, okay? Then I'm going to lift my head up and then I'm going to pull the front, push the teeth down into my hairline and adjust it to where it goes right to my hairline. So I always say if a wig feels secure, I could do cartwheels in that wig. I never do, but you get the idea that it's possible, right, without the wig going flying. So yeah, this is a really nice secure fit on me. And like I said, I've got really fine hair, really thin, fine hair that's only about an inch. So there's only a few clients, I think, that would struggle with something like this, and that's if you don't have any hair at all, or if you have baldness uh, and hair loss in places that you would need to attach those combs. But otherwise, it's really comfortable. They're average size, but it seems like there's quite a bit of stretch. And because, um, because you can place those combs anywhere you want, uh, you could leave out a lot of your bio hair here at the front and just sort of blend this in. So you can attach it at any point in your hair. I don't have enough hair in the front, nor is it the same color. So I'm not going to be blending mine in, but you get the idea that you could absolutely do that. So I pulled mine all the way out to the edge of that hairline. Okay, got a little box here, here it looks like. A little bit of water and a little bit of fluffing will probably wake that right up. But wow, that is some curly hair, isn't it? <laughs> Again, yes, I think this would be a great accent piece if you wanted to add volume and curl. But I absolutely would not be afraid to wear this if I just had, well, you know, we a little bit of hair on the head. It fits great and it secures nicely and it's really really comfortable this is the only three-quarter wig option that i see uh from wig pro at this time on the site so go out and check it out wig pro is always a 30 percent off uh, discount at checkout um on any wig pro style so we can wear it away from the face you can just kind of brush it down over the forehead or as we mentioned if you've got your own bio hair you could hook it in and blend it into that let's try this with a clip because I want to see because I want to start to see you know what our limitations will be in terms of coverage I don't have
have eyes in the back of my head, but I will edit this and give you my in interpretation of the coverage. I don't know. Can you see any wefts or can you see any part of the cat back there just by pulling it back? So let's go ahead and do a pony and see what that looks like. Okay, so there's a couple of different areas I want to evaluate here, and the first one is this in the back. So are we getting enough coverage? To me, it feels like it gives me just as much coverage as like a standard Nate full cap wig. And then the other place is around the ear tab, because if we're pulling the hair back, we have to be careful of that. So that ear tab is way up here, but you know that coverage isn't bad, is it? And I noticed there's quite a bit of fiber that they put in there. So, you know, you know, if you're super picky, maybe not, but I certainly am not. And I think it would be beautiful worn like this. And because it's long and curly, my preference would be an updo. So if you have a hair, any of your natural hair, you could pull it out on all sides of these cap because remember, um, the teeth of those combs are going to hold it into place. And again, I am not sensing anything going on in terms of movement. I'm not using any wig grips, tapes, adhesives. So yeah, I am pretty impressed with this three-quarter wig. Have you explored a three-quarter wig? If you have, please let me know and tell me what you think of Anatomy. We'll see you again real soon on Taz's Wig Closet at Wig Studio One.